Ah, season three. You know, I was beginning to think it never happened. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, Crime Busters season three premiere starts now. What happened? Uh, I think the power just went off. Oh, this cliche again. Oh, cool, you got some light. Well, I'm gonna go get my phone. I'll be back. Oh, oh, okay then. Hi, Nick. Hi. I, I was assuming you'd have something to say after that. Oh, no, I just... Well, I mean, you started the conversation by saying hi, so you know, I assumed you'd have a follow-up. Oh, no, I just wanted to talk. It's kind of putting us both in an awkward situation here. Well, I mean, this is technically a conversation we're having now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, it looks like the power's gonna be out for a while. Uh, I guess we better get some sleep. Aw, oh, but what about our show? Season 3 was about to premiere. I mean, we can always tell. Mystery Stories. I didn't know we had wolves in this area. Onward with the story. We just got a call at the station. A jar which contained stolen cookies laid beneath us. Then... The detective next to me says, Alexis? Shh, we're detectives in the story. Oh, yeah. It looks like the stolen cookie jar was dropped in this field. Cookies? Did they leave them in a the jar? Nope, they're gone. Probably gone forever. Oh, man, not the cookies. Wait, here's some fingerprints. But better take it back to the station. Excuse me, sir. We have evidence of the- Oh! I took your soul up, you careless slouch! Oh my god, you're the boss in this story? Urban, we have the evidence that could lead us to the criminal's arrest. Ah yes, we knew this was him. She's in the room next door. But I must warn you, he's the most vicious, bloodthirsty criminal this world has ever seen. You have been warned. The two looked at each other in confusion, but continued to the room where the criminal was waiting. They looked closely at the criminal. The two detectives already sense the danger that awaits. The tension was building up. Then, after what felt like an eternity, the criminal finally spoke. Yo, 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 dog. Wanna buy a mixtape off me? Oh my god, this guy sells mixtapes. All right, enough with your shenanigans. Confess to your crime. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean those criminal charges? Nah, my lady dog. You got it all wrong. You see? I was framed. Don't lie to us. We know you're a criminal. You sell mixtapes. Nah, man. It's the truth. And the truth is, is that I was framed. Hi, Kolb. Hi, Nick. Uh, I don't have a very big role in this story. Oh. Okay, then. In response to the confusing situation, the detectives decided to stop for a drink. Thanks for this non-alcoholic TVPG beverage, sir. It's my pleasure. What seems to be the problem, kids? We seem to be in some trouble. The suspect who we assume stole the cookies claims he was framed. We just can't seem to find the truth. Well, crime solving is not always that easy, especially if it's cookies. Yeah, well, I guess that's true. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I think we found our criminal. Stop resisting! I didn't do it, I swear! Oh really? Then who did? Oh, it looks like the power went back on. Oh, thank God, I was running out of ideas for this story. Hey, it looks like the episode's over. Ah, uh, what? We missed our show? Nick, calm down. We'll catch it the next time it airs. Well, that's okay, I guess. I mean, we may not have gotten to see season three of our favorite show, but I feel like thanks to some awesome fans in some alternate universe, they get to see season three of their favorite show on some internet video sharing platform with a broken copyright system. Nick, seriously, sometimes I don't even understand what the heck you're talking about.